Okay, well, I've gone a little further with these um, choke motors that are using a choke instead of a regular wound up coil uh, an inductor. And um, I went ahead and bought a box of these things, and uh, it was 20 bucks to buy all those in this so I could try them all out and see what worked good. And the ones that worked the best in this array were this big fat one here and this one, which was still 10 millimeter, but it was smaller. And this had more uh, resistance. This only had 8 ohms of resistance, but it made a really good uh, flyback. That's this big one here. But this is uh, something else I, I worked with, was um, making it out of paper. Yeah, these are paper straws and then cardboard and then uh, toothpick for the rotor. And uh, this actually worked out really neat. I found these straws and they're paper, but they're stiff. And they're not like the old paper straws. They're much stiffer. And then when you use crazy glue with it, it sticks really quick and really fast and made a really good bearing surface. And there's one that I built up that's uh, using the small inductor, which is 10 millihenries, but it's at uh, 28 ohms. I read switch with the LED. Um, about a three and a half uh, farad 2.7 volt super cap preloaded with the, the three volts. This is the one that people would want to make. This is the one right here with the big fat 10 millimeter 8 ohm 10 by 16 millimeter and it fires the neon on the flyback. Let me show you how this works here. And that's the one that I think people would want to make, is that guy right there. And um, it's because of that. Uh, these won't light up till you get 60 volts, and that's way over 60 volts. The um, super cap is loaded with 3 volts. So like I say, if you're going to make one, this was the one that uh, I recommend you make. See that thing flash when the read switch gets triggered? But yeah, that's um, 2.7 volt, about um, I don't know, four or five farad, loaded with three, about three volts. Uh, it runs for I don't know, maybe three, four minutes. This will run for about 15 minutes with the smaller inductor um, in size, but it's the same induction. It's just 28 ohms instead of eight ohms, and it runs longer. And this is the date here. And like I say, this is what I'm calling the choked paper pulse motor because um, it's made out of paper. And like I say, it's it's just uh, cardboard. And you just poke the holes through the cardboard, stick the paper straw in there, and then a little bit of crazy glue and you've made your structure. And then I'm going to probably build up another one like this where the whole thing is, is put on the board uh, in a much cleaner way. This was the prototype kind of like that um, that style but uh, the paper straw was the key and that's a really good construction tool right there or material and I could see granddad making those rubber band powered cars out of that because it's stiff and that's the brand right there got it at the 99 cent store and uh, it's there people are getting away from plastic straws because it gets in the ocean and the, it hurts the fish and stuff so they're going to these but that's a stiff paper straw and when you poke a hole through it and then put crazy glue on it you make a really good bearing for this uh, toothpick motor thing let me run this up again i'll show you how this works get it to go here but this is the one that if i was going to replicate a lid motor thing I'd want this one. Anyway, that's what I've been up to. That's my uh, uh, experiments with the um, inductor chokes and the um, paper pulse motor. Thanks for watching.